girl Gladys aka is that your hair and welcome back to my channel if you're new to my channel welcome I'm so happy to have you here and if you've been rocking with me for a minute what's up what's good and welcome back today I'm diving right into this review from a unit by Altre and her name is Aaliyah so Aaliyah is from Altre's new melted hairline series the main idea of this unit is that there is a frontal effect hairline so that means even though it is a lace front so it does have lace that you have to cut. There is a set parting space. So whether you have it in the middle of the side, the parting is set, you don't have a large parting area. However, the front of the hairline mimics an actual frontal. And I'm sure that you guys can see that as you're looking at me right now. It's looking, it's looking really good, looking really natural. This wig does come with a typical cap construction with your two combs in the front, a comb in the back with an adjustable strap. This also includes an elastic band, which I can always appreciate. The parting space, I would say it goes back like a good five inches. This unit does have Swiss lace and it is heat safe up to 400 degrees. Another spec that is different about this unit is that it has an ear contour. So that means the hairs here you know, it comes down a little further along the ear to make it look more natural if you wanted to like, let's say, put the hair behind your ear. Let me give you a quick 360 of the unit. So let's just dive into the pros of Aaliyah. First pro would absolutely be this hairline. Y'all, do you see this? This looks extremely natural. And this is not a $55 synthetic frontal. This unit goes for what, $39, $40? If you get a specialty color, I think it's plus $4, which this is, so probably paid about like $40. For $43. I mean, this looks really, really good. And I think one thing that helped with the blending was this. Now, I did start using this pressed powder from the beauty supply store. It's by Ruby Kiss. It's a mineral powder. It's just, it was like, what, five bucks? I noticed that using a darker powder along my hairline definitely helps with blending for me, especially if I'm dealing with a lace that is very ashy, that displays a white cast. Now, this lace wasn't bad. It was like that weird brownish greenish tint that i saw on catalina so blending wasn't a huge deal but i noticed using this powder definitely helps with making this look natural and this is sunlight y'all i'm in the sun and you see how this is looking right I I'm, I'm i'm impressed so i don't know if this is available online but for my friends that are dark skinned like I am, I will find, try to find a link to see if it's online. So the hairline is awesome. I also really appreciate the cap size. I think it's definitely big head friendly. So if you do have a larger head that's let's say 22.5, 23 inches, you should be good to go with this wig. Another pro to this unit is the way they do the coloring. Let me tell you, Altre 
is doing an outstanding job when it comes to coloring their units, especially with the Nisha units. I mean, I love that Yaki textures are available in those array of colors. I think they just did a great job. Like, look at how they did the dark rooting. It's not harsh. You have this pretty blonde here and the coloring, you know, transitions very well into this like 30 type of color. So I, I can appreciate that. It looks professional. It looks like something you would see on a human hair unit. Another process unit is the parting space. Supernatural. I mean, look at that. It looks really good. No plucking, no tweezing required. Now let's get into the cons of this wig because I do have a few. My first con to this wig, and the reason why I'm just now reviewing this unit versus over a month ago, is the texture. I cannot stand silky synthetic wigs. If you know me, y'all know I prefer the yak, period. When I first got this and took out the pack, I was, I was disappointed because I know what I prefer and I was just like, ugh, okay, Aaliyah. You're going to have to just go back on the shelf. Like, I wasn't excited to review this unit at all. I noticed with this line in general that the textures are just not very yakky. I think Catalina probably had the most, like, yakky feel. And I actually do like Catalina. She's my favorite of the few that I've tried. Mind you, at this point, I have tried Catalina, Natalia, and Sabrina. So this is my fourth one from this series. Because this texture alone, she's definitely my least favorite. When it comes to synthetic wigs, when they are silky, you're just way more prone to tangling and shedding and it, it's it's not gonna last you long at all. It's really just good for the look. This, this the way this looks in the front looks amazing and the color looks nice, but other than that, please don't expect longevity from this unit. Another con to this unit for me, is the okay i won't say the color is a con because i love the way they colored it i am just not obsessed with this color on me when i first started trying colors i did a lot of honey blondes and i think i'm kind of over it to a certain extent unless the color has a lot of dimension so when you come up close here this streak here you know this face framing is cute the rest of it is just like a 30 I'm not really seeing much dimension in the color, so I'm like, okay, it's, it's just okay to me. Pretty color, but just not my preference anymore. Now, if you are feeling this color on me, I did review another unit in a similar color by Sensational, the Dashley 8, I wanna say, Dashley 8. You should definitely check out that unit. I thought that color was really pretty on me, but again, I'm kind of over the honey blonde thing. But yeah, check that video out. I'll link it in the description box down below. As far as the style, I feel like it's, it's all right. It's like your basic style. I mean, it has the bumped ends. I think it's totally fine. I think it's pretty. Not really much layering going on, but it's your, it's a classic style. Side note, just keep in mind that I am wearing this wig to the side. So as far as the ear contour, you're not gonna get it on this side because the ear tabs are coming up because I shifted it to the side. It's supposed to be worn in the middle. So I just wanted people to know that. But I think the ear contour, ooh, it's a little crusty. Ooh, wait. <laughs> I think the ear contour is looking pretty, pretty natural still if you're the type of person that likes putting you know, tucking your hair behind your ears. Overall, I think Aaliyah is a pretty unit and I love the construction of this wig in general. I just wouldn't purchase it again for myself. Let me know how you feel about Aaliyah in the comments down below. How do you feel about the color, the texture? If you have Aaliyah, you tried her already, let me know if you have similar thoughts or if you have a dissenting opinion. Let me know, you know, I love when y'all talk to me. Also, if you wanna see how I make other wigs, other units look natural. I have an entire playlist dedicated to that. It's called my Wig 101 series, where I talk about, you know, blending and making your parting look natural and how to thin out a wig. All different things that we need to know as wig wearers. So I'll link that in the description box. Definitely check out that playlist because it's very helpful. And if you're new here, tap that subscribe button if you like what you see because I have way more content coming up. I usually post two to three times a week. Lately it's been more on the two side, but I'm trying to post three times more consistently. So two to three times a week. I always post on Tuesdays and sometimes on Thursday and Saturday. Sometimes it might be a Monday. We're working on it, but it's always two to three times a week. And of course we are on the road to 10K. I'm super excited about that. So if you've joined the family, trust when I tell you, it means so much to me. And if you've been rocking with me, 
all my love to you. If you want to see some of my latest videos, check them out over here to the right of me. Thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.